What's going on everyone? This is Jay from Premier Gaming Entertainment and the Revenge Tour is definitely still going and very strongly it's going right now. Um, the game has just gone final. We won 42 to 7. I'm, I'm super excited about the result with it. Uh, I'm pleasantly surprised with the outcome. I didn't think that the game would have been this lopsided but the way Michigan is playing right now the sky is the limit for this program. So first and foremost, uh, I just wanted to talk about the game itself, give my opinion uh, from what I saw, and just kind of go from there. First of all, um, 42-7, to 7, I thought the game was going to be much closer than this. I, I thought Penn State was going to be able to compete a little bit more. But, you know, this team right now is on a roll. Uh, like I said from before, other than having a bad first half against Notre Dame, this team has been dominant against all the teams that they played, and they have not let up ever since. Uh, you're looking at, you know, a, a top 25 team in Penn State, and us absolutely curb stomping them from start to finish. Kind of upset we didn't get the shutout. You know, obviously at the very end they got their little touchdown against, you know, the subs with the exception of Devin Bush and Hudson, I think, being in there for part of the time. But whatever, 42-7, we'll take it. Um, this was just domination from start to finish. Again, um, you know, we're just knocking them down one by one. Uh, first Wisconsin, then Michigan State, now Penn State. All we got left is Ohio. And uh, I'll talk about that a little bit later. But... Um, you know, offensively, played very well. Uh, um, you know, we're, we're taking our shots down the field here and there. I'd like to see a little bit more often. But in all honesty, I, I see the game plan. I see the overall vision of what Jim Harbaugh is doing, and I understand it now. So I, I just, I, I guess I feel that they could do a little bit more with it. But... Just watching this game, I, I fully understand it now. The idea is, the way Michigan is doing this offensively is like a prize fighter who's not going for... He's not like Tyson, but he's kind of picking his spots. He's one of those guys that comes in and just works the body for the first few rounds, body shot, body shot. Um, not really going for the huge knockout, but just worrying, just just pounding the body and then later on in the fight, you know, the, the boxer that the opponent that he's going against, he just doesn't have anything left in the second half or later on in the bout. This is what Michigan is doing with what they're doing right now as far as offense goes. A lot of running the ball, a lot of a long time of time of possession, keeping the, the opponent's, you know, offense off the field having their defense to play long stretches of the football game, winning the time of possession, and it just wears teams down physically. And this is no different. You know, you look at this this game, close at halftime, relatively speaking, as far as score goes. But, you know, 14 to nothing. But the game itself, as far as between... You know, between the twenties and the, the the amount of yards and just the overall, uh, just how the game felt, Michigan just dominated this game, both on offense and on defense. Um, I mean, if you take away this last little run that they had and this last little drive that they had, I mean, Trace McSorley didn't even pass for a hundred yards, <clears throat> and. Um, we're just literally shutting teams down, getting them out of their offense, not allowing them to do things, making them uncomfortable. And it's good to see all of our guys back. Rashawn Gary is back. Um, Tariq Black is back. Uh, sucks that he had that touchdown taken away from him. But you can see the explosion. You can see the speed. Um, you know, I'm sure he had limited snaps. For this game, and that's why. But he's gonna get more acclimated to the offense. He's, you're gonna see him in on more snaps, um, and this offense is gonna be even more explosive. 
this running game has just been a thing to watch. I mean, it's not anything terribly exciting or anything like that. They just wear you down. And Kron Higdon, again, over 100 yards. Was his, like, seven straight games that he's gone over 100 yards. So the running game is just basically wearing teams down, keeping them on the field longer than they like to be. And when it comes to, you know, the third, fourth quarter, um, teams are just gassed. And that's when we just start to pile it on. So, you know, I, I, I felt that I figured that we would at least score 30 points. This team is by far way better at home. I mean, if I wish I could see the home versus away stats, the splits of that. Because at home, they're I think they're averaging at least 40-something points a game. On the road, it's like 20. It's almost like they double their output when they're at home. But the defense has been consistent. And that's the one thing that, you know, they have to hand their hats on. Is that while the offense can kind of vary and, you know, turnovers can play in that. And just familiarity and being on the road can have a factor in all that. The defense has been pretty consistent all season. And um, that's one thing that is helping us to win games is knowing that we can always lean on our defense. But I'll say this, people all year have been saying, oh, is Michigan for real? I, I got to wait and see. Oh, well, we'll see what happens when they play this team. Well, we'll wait and see when they play that team. So it was like, oh, Michigan, you know, they're good. We'll see when they play Wisconsin whether they're for real. So we blow up Wisconsin. Oh, well, well, we got to see whether they can go on the road and if they're for real, if they can beat Michigan State. They do that and dominate that game. But then everyone's like, oh, well, we got to wait and see uh, whether or not they can do anything against Penn State. Penn State is coming in. So what is it now? Um, I hope people are now seeing that this team is for real. This team is definitely for, for is for real. If you, if you didn't think they were for real, then after this game, you know that they're for real. Um, I know some people are going to go back and make excuses and say, oh, well, Penn State is this or they're not that good and they shouldn't be ranked and blah, blah, blah. Just like they said to Wisconsin and, and Michigan State. But in actuality, um, while, the, the, while these teams haven't been as good as they were in past seasons, I mean, these are still decent teams. It's just that Michigan has elevated their game so much more. It, like, it makes these guys look, you know, not as good as what they are. So this team is for real. As long as they take care of business, which I definitely know they're going to do for the next two games. Uh, definitely going to uh, take care of business against the Rutgers. Indiana, I don't think it's going to be any, any issue. The last thing that we have on our schedule uh, before anything else is going to be against Ohio. We're going to wait and see how that goes. But, um, you know, right now, if we were to play Ohio, I, I think that I would see a game similar to um, you know, what happened against Michigan State. Uh, this team right now from Michigan, uh, you know, they're not messing around. They're not letting opponents hang around. Uh, you know, we're, we're dominating our opponents from start to finish. So, you know, we're, we're, not, we're not doing stuff like other teams where we're letting Nebraska almost beat them at home and having to hold on uh, we're not doing that. When we played Nebraska at home, we were winning like, what, 39-0 to zero at halftime? Um, so one thing, in, uh, one thing that I'm very, really excited about, uh, about is just the fact that, you know, against the good teams who were, were handling business and against the teams that we're not supposed to have any issue with, we're, we're handling business. There's no fooling around, there's no complacency, there's no allowing teams to linger around, um, we're taking care of business. So it's interesting to see what's going to happen. Um, like I said, 
we have everything in front of us. We just have to handle business and, uh, you know, keep and stay focused. We're in the driver's seat right now. We're at number five. We'll see what happens against the Alabama LSU game that's coming on later on. Um, you know, I'm not really rooting for any team, but I think that, and I feel that regardless of the outcome, whoever loses that game, with the outcome of this game versus Penn State, we should be able to leapfrog that team. Um, so basically that's it for the video. Um, you know, like I said, uh, there's not anything I can really pinpoint from this game to really hang my hat on and say that they did this or did that. Um, not anything I can really nitpick either. Um, both sides of the football were very, very convincing to me. And, um, you know, we just have to keep up the momentum and not let up and just play every game as though we're just up by one score. Um, so, I get, well, no, I take that back. There's one thing I can nitpick on, and that is our kicking game. Um, once again, I mean, I, I would have never thought that, but this the kicking game has been kind of shaky. And, uh, again, we had a... The kick, the one kick that we did attempt got blocked and almost got returned for a touchdown, which would have been a huge game, uh, huge game changing play for the game. Luckily, it didn't happen and we were able to win. Uh, you know, there was a penalty on that and uh, it didn't affect the game. I don't think it would have mattered anyways, obviously, with the outcome of the score and everything like that. But still, somehow or another, we had to get that kicking game resolved. But other than that, I'm very pleased with the outcome. So anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, definitely feel free to leave a like on the video. It definitely helps my channel out. Um, my channel is just right now, it's on fire. It's, it's growing at an exponential pace. Um, and uh, every like that you leave on my video helps my channel to grow. And uh, it's growing, like I said, it's growing huge. I mean, the numbers, not a huge channel, obviously, but my channel is definitely growing. So definitely leave a like if you liked the video. Uh, leave me a comment, sec a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about today's win, whether you love the fact that we, we uh, beat up on uh, the Nittany Lions. I personally enjoyed it after what they did to us last year. Uh, I'm no fan of James Franklin. I can't stand the guy. And I know that last year, after we beat them the year before, they took pleasure in routing us. Uh, you know, not even trying to uh, take a knee at the end of the game, running a play, trying to do some sort of fake and run into the end zone. So I am thoroughly, I, I was so glad to see us stomp on these guys. And I hope that continues from now until as long as I live. So anyways, thank you for watching the video. Uh, let me know in the comment section below how you feel about the, the game. And uh, if you enjoy my content, subscribe to the channel. Um, and, uh, you know, let's try to get this channel to grow even more. Thank you for watching, and go blue.